In opaque materials, any coordinated vibrations given by light to the atoms and molecules are turned into random kinetic energy, that is, into internal energy. Emissions allow no light to go through them are called opaque. Wood, stone, people are all opaque. In opaque materials, any vibrations from light are turned into random kinetic energy, that is, into internal energy. The materials become slightly warmer. Perhaps you've experienced this as an opaque material yourself. Metals are also electrons of the atoms are not bound to any particular atom. When light shines on metal and sets these free electrons into vibration, their energy does not spring from atom to atom. It's remitted as visible light. This remitted light is seen as a reflection, and that's why metals are shining. Our atmosphere is transparent to visible light and some infrared, but almost opaque to higher frequency ultraviolet waves. The ultraviolet that does get through is what is responsible for sunburns. Clouds are semi-transparent to ultraviolet, so you can get a sunburn on a cloudy day. It might take a little bit longer, but it can absolutely happen. Ultraviolet also reflects from sand and water, so you can sometimes get a sunburn while in the shade of a beach umbrella. This goes uh, into climate change. The ultraviolet light, the light that is responsible for heating up the earth, comes in and because the frequency matches that of the atmosphere, that ultraviolet light is going to sometimes bounce back to space. But other times it's going to get through. And when it does get through, then it burns our skin or heats up the ground or heats up the road or any roofs that are darker color are going to absorb that extra energy. So it's then going to be re-emitted back out towards space, but remember the ultraviolet light vibrates at the same frequency as our atmosphere, so not every beam is going to get through. And when we say our atmosphere, we're specifically talking about carbon dioxide molecules for this instance. So carbon dioxide molecules are vibrating like this, ultraviolet light vibrates like this, and then when they crash into each other, the molecules can't get through the carbon dioxide every single time. So the more carbon dioxide that you have in the atmosphere, the less ultraviolet light is going to get through. And as that builds up over and over time, this carbon dioxide thick blanket around the Earth is trapping in all of that extra warmth. So, think about this. Why is glass transparent to visible light but opaque to ultraviolet and infrared light? The natural frequency of vibration for electrons in glass matches the frequency of ultraviolet light. So resonance in the glass occurs when ultraviolet waves shine on it. These vibrations generate heat instead of wave re-emission so the glass is opaque to ultraviolet. In the range of visible light, the force vibrations of electrons in the glass result in re-emission of light, so the glass is transparent. Lower frequency infrared causes entire atomic structures to resonate so heat is generated, and the glass is opaque. So, why does light not pass through opaque materials?